using this here. OMG, my hair. I left this on. It was supposed to be like 20 minutes. Um, I got caught up. It was doing other things. And so I just rinsed it out. And my hair, oh my God. It loves it. My hair loves it. It loves it. It's so soft. It was so soft when I was rinsing it out. And it's just soft. Like right now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into my LCO method. I will be going ahead and put in my leave-in because right now my hair feels like butter has been just spilled on it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture. That's all I can say. Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture. You all got yourself somebody. Look at that. Oh. Just massaging my scalp. But I wanted to tell you guys some, something. Um, while I do my LCO method, I'm going to tell you guys this. Now, you may think, hey, she puts out a lot of videos. She recorded a lot, blah, blah, blah. And let me give y'all my story, okay? My story is in, in 2010, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, okay? I had to go through chemo. I had to go through uh, a year of treatments. I had to do six rounds of chemo and a year of another treatment of chemo. So, in that process, I lost all my hair. And when a woman loses her hair, her breast, like all at the same time, something happens, okay? It, it does something to you. So, a lot of people say, well, it's just hair. Yeah, and you know it's just hair. You know it's going to grow back, but I was hurt. I was hurt, guys. And, um... leave-in cream. I'm going to be using the um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And um, I was hurt and I, I stopped. I mean, when my hair would grow back, I would cut my hair off. I would like not care about my hair at all because I was so hurt that I had lost my hair in the first place, okay? And I was crushed as a woman that I lost my hair and I had lost my breasts. And um, it was a hard time. So after that, you always are kind of like, is it going to come back? Uh, what's the use of falling in love with my hair right now? Because the cancer can come back, you can lose your hair, blah, 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 blah. These are all the thoughts that you, you go through when you're thinking. And um, so I never, I never got back into the hair thing. I would go and, I would go and I would get a big chop. And then I would like just not even care about my hair. I used to wear baseball caps and stuff. And then once the hair grows back, Instead of, you know, taking care of it and everything and leaving it natural, I would go and get a relaxer because, I mean, I did not care. I did not care about my hair at all, okay? And it had been that way. And something happened at the end of December. Well, I'm not going to say something happened. Okay, God spoke to me. And he wanted me to start taking care of my hair. Start spending time with my hair. It's a gift. He gave it to me. And I know what it's like. I'm applying the oil. I know what it's like not to have it. And I know what it's like to have it. But he made me start looking at it a different way. 
So I decided that I was going to start just documenting my natural hair journey. Okay, let me let me stop real quick. This is the LCO method. I have applied my leave-in. My hair is already damp a little bit. I've applied my cream, which is the uh, Shea Moisture Coconut. Uh, uh, what is it? Shea Moisture Coco uh, Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Enhancing Smoothie. And then I just added some Shea Butter Oil to that. Okay, so that's the LCO method. And that's what I'm going to do throughout my whole head. But I am going to continue to talk to you guys. Um, so, I decided, you know, let me document my journey. Because it can be helpful to somebody else. You know, it could be helpful to that woman that is dealing with... Um, chemo and that woman that's about to lose her hair and that woman is losing her hair because of alopecia or you know that woman that's just don't recognize what a gift hair can be and see <laughs> y'all it hurts it hurts so bad when you are going through chemo and you go in there and you wash your hair. You don't even wash your hair. It's like you just get your hair wet and on accident and then you see um, this hair just laying in the you know, laying in the bed in the shower and it hurts, you guys. It hurts so bad. And for the person, for the people that have not dealt with that and for the people that have, you kind of embrace when you have hair. You kind of embrace when you're taking care of your hair and all that kind of stuff but I was scared I was scared and I didn't want to embrace it because I'm like the cancer could come back the cancer could come back that's what I used to always tell myself the cancer could come back so I didn't care and I'm telling you God has a way of doing things and he has me documenting my natural hair journey. It could be for me to go back and look at one day for myself, you know. Or, you know, like I said, it could be just to help that person that's dealing with it right now. So it's more, it's it's a person, this is a personal thing for me. This taking care of my hair, spending time with my hair, doing stuff to my hair, uh, learning how to moisturize my hair, learning about my hair, and all this. This is, this is not just something I'm just doing. This is something that I'm passionate about now. I am passionate. And who's to say? I mean, I, 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 God forbid, God forbid that my cancer does come back one day. God forbid. Cause I don't want that to happen. I mean, I, I don't want to go through that again. That was horrible, guys. That's horrible. And I cried so much. I cried so much because not only, you know, and this is my channel, so I'm just going to tell it like it is. You know, for preventive measures, on top of that, I even had to have a total hysterectomy. You know, just to try to avoid having the uh, cervical cancer because my breast cancer was fed off of estrogen. And estrogen is something that the woman's body produces. I mean, the woman's body produces estrogen. It is just there. So... 
y'all, it, it, it hurt, it hurt, and so when you see me on here and I'm making all these videos and I'm putting these videos out and I'm excited because of A, B, and C or, I mean, there is a story behind it. There is a story behind it. I'm telling you, I've never, in 42 years, I, I mean, I've never learned, took the time to learn so much about my hair. Y'all have no idea. And when you have something and then you lose it, when you get it back, you appreciate it. My hair is a little dry right here, so I'm going to add a little aloe vera. You appreciate it. You have to actually lose it. I had to. I had to lose it in order to appreciate it. You know? And it's kind of hard for me to even talk about without even... You know, it's just hard for me to talk about without getting emotional about it, but... It's not easy. It hurts. I mean, when I tell you it hurts, it hurts. You know, and, they, and the person that's not dealing with it can easily tell you it's just breasts, it's just hair, it's just, you know, and, but you, to you, it's it's just breast that you just lost. It's just hair that's falling out. I couldn't even take off my, um, I couldn't even take off a baseball cap or anything because it was just falling out, falling out. And my uh, friend, her husband is a barber. And when I decided I wanted to go ahead and chop it down, you know, just take it down a little bit. And, um, you know, he tried, he talked to me, and so I wouldn't, you know, feel as bad and everything. But it hurt. Me. It did. So, no, I'm not just making a whole bunch of videos. No, I'm not into the views. No, I'm not. The reason I push so hard. For the subscribers is because I'm waiting on that one person, that one or two people that can say, you know, I heard your testimony, I love what you're doing, I'm glad, we're, you know, I'm going to start taking care and appreciating my hair and, you know, appreciate it guys because it can be gone. It can be gone real fast. Real fast, real fast. So I'm looking at this and this is white, but it's super moisturized. Super moisturized and my curls are there. That's all I really wanted to do today. Today wasn't gonna be a style day or nothing. It was just focusing on a deep conditioner. I did my daughter's hair too and deep conditioned her hair and yeah. But I had to share that with you guys. I took I actually went on there and I took off the um the thing um that shows how many subscribers you got. You know because a person looking at your page, and then they'll say, hey, she only got so many subscribers, I'm not even going to watch that video. She could miss something. You know what I mean? She could miss something. Because that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start sharing with you guys my why. My why. So, the whole concept of my hair uh, videos is to give God glory now. I mean, God always gets the glory. 
but I am like going to share stuff with you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys. I'm going to let you know my story. I'm going to let you know about me. About me. There is a story behind me. And there's a story in everything that I do. You know, I'm blogging now. I decided I was going to blog and and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just obedient and, and when God tells me to do something, I do it, y'all. I just do it. I just do it. So, you know, to me this is not a competition thing and all that kind of stuff for It's just not. I, I, I just... I want to share my journey with you guys. I want you all to see my hair growth. I want you all to see what I do to take care of my hair. I want you guys to see what process I'm going to take and learn so, so that I can grow healthy, longer hair. I, I want you guys to see that. I want you all to witness it. I want you to be there with me. I want you to be there with me when things go wrong and when I want to have somebody just to talk to. I want you guys to be there because this is, you know, it's a it's a gamble. It's it's a gamble. You know, I I had the enemy creep up in my head last night and was telling me, you know, you putting out all, all these videos about your natural hair journey and you know, what if your cancer come back and you end up losing all your hair and then and you know what if I end up if the cancer does come back and I end up losing my hair guess what I'm still gonna have my channel and I'm just gonna be on there telling people how to uh, stimulate their scalp <laughs> and you know and I'm gonna continue to give God the glory and everything I do there is a reason that he wanted me to start documenting and, and that's I, nobody knows what that reason is. Nobody but God. He knows what that reason is. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. But the one thing that we do know is that when He tells you to do something, you have to do it. You have to be obedient. Okay? That's that you have to be obedient when God tells you to do something you say yes sir you don't ask no questions you do what he tells you to do and at the end of it God will get all the glory and somebody's going to be watching this and saying well, I don't want to sit here and hear her talk about the Lord well, guess what this is my channel and this is what I'm choosing to do Okay, this is my channel. On this channel, I'm taking a natural hair journey from beginning to the end, all the way up until the day that God tells me to stop. If God never tells me to stop, I will never stop making videos about my hair. I will continue to try out products. I will continue to, to learn about my hair. I will continue to share with you guys what I learn about my hair. I will continue. That is the basics of this channel. So if this is not what you are looking for, please do not subscribe. If you are willing to be there and watch God get the glory out of whatever it is that he's doing, subscribe. That's it. And I think I'm going to make this video the main video that pops up on my channel because I'm, I'm, I think it's only fair that people know, you know, I think it's only fair that people know. But this is the back of my hair. It is totally moisturized, soft. Using the LCO method, leave in.
intensive hydration leave in milk okay my cream curl enhancing smoothie this is all shea moisture my oil was shea butter oil I got the top off of it so shea butter oil take some of that cause and never oil is good for your hair and I did now when I shampooed my hair I did use my biotin boost I have not I have not tried a shea moisture shampoo I haven't tried it I have it my daughter uses it I use it on her hair I haven't tried it but the leave-in conditioner and everything those things are great so that may be something that I add into it but right now the biotin boost the thickening and the way I can use it like two or three times a week if I want to and it, it still keeps my hair moisturized it doesn't strip my hair and the whole basis of this video was me trying out this mask now this treatment mask is great it's great when I, I mean it's Jamaican black castor oil it's strengthening it restores with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar so it is clarifying your scalp as well um, you do rinse it out it's a deep conditioner sulfate free color safe the texture of it looks like poo poo <laughs> it doesn't look like poo poo when it come out but when it goes on your hair, hair it glides on like butter it glides on like butter and I had it all over my head I combed it in on every strand and I did sit under the dryer for a minute. I sat under the dryer for like 20 minutes. I had that thing on my head for like 20 minutes. And then I took it off, but I still had my plastic cap on. So I wrapped my towel around and did some things. And then I went and rinsed it out and came back. And y'all, my hair feels good. Do you hear me? Let's see if y'all can. Yeah, that look like a little cocoa bud, but it's not. It's a baby hair. Yes, it is. It's a baby hair. <laughs> so, thumbs up. I'm going to go on Influenza and do a review on this product because this product is what's happening. I love this deep conditioner. I'm going to research and see how often, or if you guys know how often you're supposed to deep condition your hair, please leave it in the comments down below. Let me know. And then I'm going to do some research and see how often you're supposed to deep condition. Because this has got to be something that's very healthy for your hair. I don't think, I don't know if you can over condition, but I don't know. But that's a staple product. The intensive hydration leave-in milk, that's a staple product. The coconut enhancing smoothie. Coconut staple product, and I can't wait to try this. I mean, I actually tried this. I washed my hair. This is the twist defining, yeah, twist defining custard. And I actually washed my hair one day and just put it on, and it, it curled like it curled, it defined my hair, and I didn't even twist it. So I can't wait to see the results from it when I actually twist it. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go in here and cut up and edit this video and all that stuff because y'all just don't know this be real work right here. It really do. So I love you guys. You know my story. That is my story. If you're going to ride with me, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If this is not the journey you want to take, I understand. No hard feelings. No hard feelings at all. No hard feelings at all. Okay? So, as I say in all my videos, keep God first in everything you do. In everything you do, keep God first. Okay? And remember, when I first, when I finished, my hair, it was showing, it was white. Now I want you guys to look. The white is gone. It was just a product. It had to work in, work itself into my hair. So, 
I'm loving it. I need to be a face for shave moisture. So soft, look at that. Oh, it's just soft, y'all. So soft. I'm not going anywhere today. All right, you guys. Represent, ride with me. To God be the glory in everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, see y'all later.